Hi everyone. Happy Monday. Physician heal thyself. The first time I heard this phrase, I was a senior in college. I was applying to graduate programs in counseling, but had very little relevant experience for a personal statement, as until the year before, I had been planning on becoming a high school math teacher. I was working as an undergraduate research assistant for my developmental psychology professor and had asked her for some help making my personal statement sound better than I thought my experience would indicate. Instead of heading right into writing a personal statement, she just started asking me all sorts of questions um, about high school, jobs I've had, volunteer work I've done, um, even hobbies I've had. I talked to her about working in retail and some other jobs that I've had, told her about being interested in creative writing, um, I talked about being on the math team in high school. Yes, I was on the math team in high school. We even had a cheer. Someday, maybe I'll bust that out for you. And then, as an afterthought, I said, well, I volunteered as a coach for a volleyball team at my grade school for a couple of years. She said, wait, you were a coach? And then she pointed her head towards the ceiling, rolled her eyes ever so slightly, and muttered, Physician, heal thyself. And here's what she meant. There are so many times that we have all of the information that we need. We might even know exactly what we need to do. Possibly, we even know exactly how to do it. But for some reason, we fail to see that we have the power to fix our own problems. I had two years of coaching experience, which is, in fact, exceptionally relevant to the field of counseling. I started thinking about this over the weekend. Lately, I've been having a resurgence of lower back pain, something that I've dealt with most of my adult life. Now, I know from experience that one of the worst things for me to do, and I can only speak for myself, is to be still. Moving helps my back. I also know that sitting for long periods of time, especially in my dining room chair turned office chair, is terrible for my back. I also know that the pain that I have in my back is typically caused by tightness in my hips combined with underactivity of my glutes and my abdominal muscles. And earlier this year, I did a certification in personal training, so I literally have an entire library of flexibility and strength training exercises to do that will alleviate those problems and thereby alleviate the symptom. Physician, heal thyself. I literally have all I need to fix this problem. I just have to do it. It reminds me of another great quote from Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland. I often give myself very good advice, but I very seldom follow it. So today, I have carved out some time to do the exercises that I know will alleviate my problem. I'm working at my laptop at a high counter so I can stand more. I'm going to take some walk breaks to get my body moving. I'm going to shift from I need to to I'm going to, to I am. Now certainly we are not in possession of all of the information or tools or power to solve all of our problems. But what obstacles do you have in your way that you do in fact have the capacity to resolve, but don't? And why is that? And what would you like to do about it? This week, as you think about those obstacles, consider paying homage to Dr. Davidson, my professor, by looking up to the ceiling giving a slight roll to the eye, and saying, Physician, heal thyself. Have a great week, everyone.